Hi everyone! In this ClickFunnels 2.0 tutorial I will show you how to add a pop-up on your funnel page with different types of content that may look like this, change the look of the pop-up and how to trigger it on the page load or when a visitor tries to leave your page. One thing before we get started, if you don't have your ClickFunnels 2.0 account yet, you can find a link to a free 30-day trial of ClickFunnels 2.0 in the description of this video. That link will actually bring you to this page. This is the page for our exclusive offer where you will be able to start your extended trial. And if you use our link, you will also receive our ClickFunnels 2.0 course as a bonus. Now let's get straight to it. Open the funnel page where you want to add a pop-up in the page editor. The first type of the pop-up you can add to your funnel page in ClickFunnels 2.0 is a video pop-up. When you add this element, it will display a placeholder image on the page, and when someone clicks on the image, they will see a video in the pop-up. If you want to use a video pop-up, there are two things that you need to do. First, you need to add your video. You go to the settings of the video pop-up element, then click Video Settings, and paste the URL to your video. In my case, it's a YouTube video, but you can also use Vimeo, Boomly, Wistia, or custom embed your video. If needed, you can also change the title of the video, the backdrop color, that's the color that you see here, which will be used to overlay the funnel page, change the padding, background, border, and shadow. And once you add the video, the other thing that you also want to add is a thumbnail image. For that, go to the image settings, and then go to image URL, click on the icon here, you will be able to either upload an image from your device, select an image from your gallery, or use an image from one of the image stocks. I will just select an image from the library. But ideally, you should use an image with a play button overlay on it, so it's clear for the visitors of your page that this element is clickable and that they can click on the image to watch the video. And if needed, you can also update the settings of this image, change the look of the corners, add some borders or shadows. Now let's save the changes and see how it works. We preview the page. Once I click on the image, a pop-up with a video is opened and the video starts playing. Using a video pop-up, make sure that you eliminate all the other distractions on the page and make it more likely that the visitors of your page watch this video. That's all there is to the video pop-up element. Let's now cover the general pop-up element that you can find here. If you use this pop-up, you can add different elements to it, but usually it would be used for input fields or a checkout element. This way you can keep your funnel page clean and collect the information in a pop-up. By default, your funnel page already has a pop-up. You don't need to add any extra elements to the page for that. To see this pop-up, select Show pop-up. Then you can edit it as any other section, row and elements in the page editor. Let's say we want to add another input field here. I just clone this element, then go to the settings of the element and select first name. Same way you can change the image, adjust the text, add some elements or remove the ones that you don't need in the pop-up. Now to access the pop-up settings, to be able to adjust the look of the pop-up, you can either click on this button, edit pop-up settings, or hover over this icon and select Edit Settings. As you can see in the settings here, you can change size and position of the pop-up, change the padding, the background, add some border or shadow, and change the look of the corners. You don't need to change the look of the pop-up, but you can do it in the settings here. But one thing that you need to do is to select which action will trigger your pop-up. You can select if you want to trigger the pop-up on exit when a visitor tries to leave the page. Let's save the changes and see how it works. As you can see, now that I moved the cursor away from the page, the pop-up appeared. Next, you can select to trigger a pop-up on the page load. Save the changes and see how it works. When the page is loaded, the pop-up is opened automatically. You can also set a specific delay if you need. And you can also select if you want to open the pop-up when a specific element is visible. And in this drop-down, you can select which element it should be. I will remove all the triggers for now because I want to show you yet another way how to trigger a pop-up. And that will be by using a button. If you have a button on the page, you can set the action for this button to open a pop-up. It's exactly how it is set up in this page template. If I go 
to the settings of the button and then go to button action. You need to select open pop-up and this will trigger a pop-up when a visitor of this page clicks the button. Let's see how it works. I preview the page, and then when I click the button, the pop-up appears. But that's not it. You can take it even further. You can use the button to trigger the pop-up, as we already have now, and you can also show the pop-up when somebody tries to leave the page. If we now go to the settings of the pop-up again and select show when user tries to exit, we now set up two triggers for the pop-up on exit and also with the help of the button. Let's see how it works. If I click the button, I see the pop-up. And now when I move the cursor away from the page, so I'm trying to leave the page, the pop-up is also triggered. This setup will help you to capture the attention of the page visitors even more and increase the chance of them opting in or purchasing something, depending on what elements you have in your pop-up. Now you know everything about pop-up elements in ClickFunnels 2.0 and can easily add one to your page. If this tutorial was helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and enable notifications to not miss out on our future videos. If you haven't done it yet, use the link in the description to create a free 30-day trial of ClickFunnels 2.0. Thank you for watching and I will see you in our future videos.